You should read Geiger by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. For those of you that don't know, my name is G.I. Joel, and I love comic books so much that I left a full-time job to open a comic book shop and share my love of comics with all of you. And every Monday, I do an episode like this where I tell you a comic book that you should read because I think it's fantastic and that you'll love it. But let's go ahead and first get into my spoiler-free review of this great book, Geiger. Simply put, Geiger is a story of a man named Tariq Geiger and the lengths that he is willing to go to protect his family. Set in the year 2050, 20 years after the world has been destroyed by nuclear bombs, the survivors exist in different factions spread across the U.S. This story primarily takes place in what remains of Las Vegas and its surrounding desert. But Tariq lives outside the walls of Vegas. Unlike the other survivors, he has no need for a radiation suit. He has become an urban legend that goes by many names like Joe Glow, the man of mass destruction, or the glowing man. Tariq spends his days protecting the fallout shelter his family is locked away in, waiting for the day it's safe for them to come out. And Tariq does his absolute best to keep trouble out of his own little corner of the world, but trouble has a way of finding him. So that's just kind of a basic synopsis of this book. You know, like I said, it's a dystopian future fallout type world. Um, And, you know, it follows the main character, Tariq Geiger, who pretty much goes by Geiger most of the time. Uh, but I don't want to get too much more into it because I don't want to spoil any of the twists or turns that the story takes as you kind of read through it. Now, I've said before um, across different videos on my different platforms. I am not a huge Jeff Johns fan. But even with that said, I actually enjoyed this book quite a bit. I'm a big fan of like the dystopian nuclear wasteland type futuristic world. I think those stories are a lot of fun. You know, they, we get a lot of them and you know, it's hard to get a unique spin on them or to really get a, something different, but we don't typically get those same stories with a superhero aspect. So Geiger is a superhero in every sense of the word, right? He has superpowers. He has these rods that like are cooling rods. When he pulls them out of his back, he basically turns into a nuclear reactor type bomb and he just is filled with energy and power. He's a superhero in the sense that he has like superpowers. And Johns did a really great job of world building throughout this story. You know, kind of exploring the different factions and the different groups that exist in this dystopian world. You now, within the walls of Las Vegas, there are the casinos and each one of those casinos is like its own little city state. And then outside of Las Vegas, we have other groups like the Oregon people or what's left of the US government. He also introduced some pretty cool creatures like night crawlers and other weird radioactive two-headed wolves. And another thing that he does, and it's, it's pretty obvious throughout the story, is we're being told this story as though it is another story. We're sitting around a campfire and we're talking about Geiger. That's kind of the premise of this book. And he does this great job of making Geiger, at least the person of Geiger, similar to like a Paul Bunyan or a John Henry, kind of an American myth. I think what he's trying to say is that even in a dystopian world, even where there is little hope and we're fighting for our survival on a daily basis, humans will still tell stories. At the end of the day, regardless of what we're going through, storytelling is a part of who we are. And I think that's what the message he's trying to get across. And he does a great job of kind of aligning himself with the American myth and the classic, you know, Western frontier story and turning that into more of a dystopian, post-apocalyptic, nuclear fallout, American frontier story. And it's, you know, like a great combination of Mad Max, Fallout game series, and book of Eli all kind of crammed into one thing. We have this heroic character who is kind of a myth more than a man. You know, we have the cars and all the crazy vehicles and the different factions kind of chasing him across the desert. So it's a lot of fun in the sense that it's a, a lot of those things kind of put together. So if you're a fan of any of those properties, any of those franchises, you're really going to enjoy this one. But the thing I think I enjoyed the most was overall just the sense of the importance of storytelling, right? How important it is for us as humans to tell tell stories about the world around us to help us understand it, to help us move through it. And I think he does a great job of kind of showing what that would look like in a post-apocalyptic future, right? We would continue to tell stories. We would continue to be humans, even in a world where there is very little left of humanity. We would still continue some of these basic things like telling stories. And when it comes to the art in this one, I mean, it's, it's Gary Frank. I really don't think I need to say much more than it's Gary Frank doing the artwork. It is just absolutely fantastic fantastic from beginning to end. You know, it's got a lot of detail. It's very eye-catching. It's just classic Gary Frank artwork. But like I said, overall, this is a great read, especially if you're a fan of like futuristic dystopian stories, but want to see like a superhero twist on it. It's a definitely a mix of, like I said, Fallout, Book of Eli, Mad Max, you know, maybe even Waterworld a little bit. But if you were to mix those things together, what would it look like? 
it would be Geiger. If you're interested in reading Geiger, you can actually shop it at the link down below at gtxcomics.com. But have you read Geiger? Are you planning on reading it? Let me know down in the comments. I would love for a chance to connect with you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any future updates or episodes, and I'll see you later.